Hi, this is Sam Ramirez. I'd like to do a piece from Biri Tomas. The title is Alien Turf. Sometimes you just don't fit in. Like if you're a Puerto Rican on an Italian block. After my new baby brother Ricardo died of some kind of germs, Papa moved us from 111th to Italian Turf on 114th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. I guess Papa wanted to get Mama away from the hard memories of the old pad. I sure missed 111th where everybody acted, walked, and talked like me. But 114th Street, everything went alright for a while. There were a few dirty looks with the spaghetti and sauce cats, but no big sweat. Until that one day, I was on my way home from school and had almost reached my front stoop. And someone called, Hey! You dirty fucking spick! The words hit my ears and almost made me curse Papa at the same time. I turned around real slowly and found my face pushing in the finger of an Italian kid about my age. He had five or six of his friends with him. Hey you! What nationality are you? He said. I looked at him and I wondered what nationality to pick. And then one of his friends says, Oh Rocky! He's black enough to be a nigger! Ain't that what you is, kid? My, my voice was almost shy in its anger. Puerto Rican, I said. I was born here. I wanted to shout it, but it came out more like a whisper. Born here? Rocky sneered. Right here, in the middle of the street? They all laughed. I hated them. I shook my head slowly from side to side. Uh-uh, I said. I was born in a hospital, in a bed. Um, Bison, born in a bed? Rocky said. I didn't like Rocky Italiano's voice. In a hospital, I whispered. And all this time, my eyes were trying to cut the long distance from this trouble to my stoop. I couldn't help thinking about kids getting wasted from moving to a block belonging to other people. What hospital, Paisan? Bad Rocky pressed. Harlem Hospital, I answered. And wishing like all hell that it was five o'clock instead of just three o'clock because Papa came home at five. I looked around for friendly faces belonging to elders, but the elders were all busy yakking away in Italian. Uh, I, I couldn't help thinking how much like Spanish it sounded. Shit, that should make us something like relatives. Harlem Hospital, said a voice. I knew he was a nigger. Yeah, yeah, said another voice from an expert in color. That's the hospital where all them black bastards keep born at. I dug three Italian elders looking at us from across the street, and I felt saved. But that went out the window, and they just smiled and went on talking. And I couldn't decide if they had smiled because this uh, new whatever he was was going to get his ass kicked or because they were pleased that their kids were welcoming a new kid to their country. An older man nodded his head at Rocky who smiled back. I wondered if that was a signal for my funeral to begin. Ain't that right kid? Rocky pressed. Ain't that where all black people get born at? I dug some of Rocky's boys grinding and pushing and punching closed fists into open hands. I figured they were trying to shake me up. So I straightened up my humble voice and made like proud. <clears throat> There's all kinds of people born there. Colored people, Puerto Ricans like me, and even spaghetti benders like you. That's a dirty fucking lie! Bash! I felt Rocky's fist smack into my mouth. You dirty fucking spick! I 
got dizzy and then more dizzy when fists just started flying from everywhere and only towards me. I swung back, splish, splash, and I hit some face and I wish I hadn't because then I started getting kicked. I heard people yelling and attacking in English and I wondered if it was because I hadn't fought fair and hitting that one guy. But no, 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 the voices were trying to help me. What's the matter, you no good kids? I live with the kid alone, said a man. I, I, I looked through a swelling eye and I dug some Italians pushing their kids off me with slaps. But even kick the kid in the ass. I could have loved him if I didn't hate him so fucking much. You okay, kiddo? Asked the man. Where you leave, a boy? Asked, uh, asked another one. Is there going be no hurt? Asked the woman. I didn't look at any of them. I felt dizzy. I didn't want to open my mouth up to speak because I was fighting to keep from puking up. I just hoped my face was cool looking. I walked away from that group of strangers and I reached my stoop. Started to climb the steps. When someone shouted, Hey, spit! I started to turn to the voice, but changed my mind. Spit wasn't my name. I knew that voice though. It was Rocky's. We'll see you again, Spick, he said. I wanted to do something tough, like spit in their direction. But you gotta have spit in your mouth. And, I, and, my, and my mouth was hurt dry. I just stood there with my back to them. Hey, your old man just better be the fucking janitor in that building. Another voice added. Hey, have you got any pretty sisters? We might let you stay on the block. Another voice mocked. Oh, for Christ's sake. Why are you ever hear any of them black brats being pretty? I heard the laughter. I turned around and looked at them. Rocky made a dirty sign by placing his left hand in the crook of his right arm by twisting his closed fist in the air. Another voice said, Fuck it! We'll cover the bitch's face with the flag and fuck her! All I could think of is how much I like to kill each of them. Thank you.